I think you're crazy, baby. Songs playing in my head, always songs playing. I love music. I mean, I listen to more music than I talk or interact with people. Makes me happier. It's not just the lyrics either. I like um, any time, any type of emotion. I like dark music. I like heavy music. I like all kinds. But I'm, I was just thinking of like what a Greek god I am. What a sexual master I've become. Like that's like my, um, my new job. You know? Spreading the seed, as they say. I, um... I, um... I've been thinking a lot lately about... Well, because I listen and take in as much information as possible. As it pertains to reality. Or what people think it is. I have been, um... Thinking about my lab. I saw this video, and this is kind of how our world works. Some guy over over logic some kid who thinks he's smart probably has a future in Silicon Valley makes a video of how he duped um, there's a guy I don't remember his name but he interviews like super soldiers so a lot of people have these memories of going off planet uh, meeting different alien races you know wild stuff but there's there's quite a quite a few people that have them of course, you got to count out, you know, the BSers and like the infiltrators. But I don't know if it's true or not. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting that a person that makes a video to dupe it has like five times the views as any super soldier video has. That's really interesting, right? So why are all these people interested in a duping video and not interested in the real stories? Hmm. Hmm. YouTube is ridiculous. That's all I gotta say. But I make videos. It's good to have a um good to have things documented. Another reason I'm interested in that is because during my little alien experiences, um at one point I was getting these entities and sometimes they wouldn't even be able to come in the house. I'd meet them outside. So I, I kind of thought, well, like, maybe these are, are um, people cloaked. Why would I have to go outside, you know, at a certain time or what have you? But what they kept asking me to do is join the military. Now, I have an interesting thing about the military because I'm not in it and I never have been. But on my background, it says that I am in the military and fuck that and fuck the military. I know there are good people in there, but I'm not for murder or control or power on any level. I think that's interesting that I'm in the military now as of 2022 at my age. Now it could just be somebody like messing around, which I don't really care about that. But um it's interesting the timing of it. It might just be people trying to make you look bad, which I I don't care about at all. The only people I care about are people that know me. But I, I found it interesting that I kept being asked. But I would talk extensively with these beings. And they weren't military people. They were spirits. So what do you know the military uses spirits? Spell work. Now, is that a surprise? No. But I did read someone that made a, a, a point about um, if magic is real, how come, you know... That's not used in wars or what have you. Well, magic can only do so much against the masculine shadow. That's for sure. You can run right through that shit. If you have integrated your shadow, man. But it's interesting also because I was recruited for the military. Not really recruited, but kind of put into a situation. Encouraged just mostly by my mother um, to join the military. And uh, Army Intelligence is where they wanted me to go in Monterey. And uh, I fucked it up pretty good. I mean, I definitely didn't. It was not something I wanted to do in any way. But I was in a difficult situation, and my family didn't do anything to help. 
um, ever. So that was the suggestion. So I thought about it. I considered it. My dad was in the military, but he got drafted to Vietnam, and he's dead, and he died young, or younger. Wow, she's cute. Anyways, um, I say all this military stuff because I know that any institution that's ever existed, because I'm a big fan of history, is corrupt, um, is eventually corrupt. And you know that our military and, and uh, government is corrupt, at least in this country. So, if it was possible to go off planet and, you know, steal people, um, whatever dimension. And we do live in multiple dimensions. Um, and they're not that different from this one, actually. You think that, oh, it's some different world or something. And it's like, no, you can shift here. I have seen other beings here, purely physical. That other people, I assume, would be seeing as well because they're just the same as other people. But they're not human beings. But I don't know how I do that, and I don't do that every day. Um, it's interesting, my response. It's just like, oh, okay, that, that's that. On to the next. The military also... Oh, let me mention another thing. There's a woman named, I, th I think her name's Gina Marie, or Colvin Hill, I think is her name, Gina Marie, or Marie, Maria Colvin Hill. Um, she has a YouTube channel, and um, she has interesting videos, and she takes these supposedly public cameras all over the world, and um, kind of emphasizes like weird situations that look like plasma, or other things, or UFOs even dragons once. Now, I'm not sure if they're all real, but I do know that she's like a middle America person. I think she's from Indiana or something. Not the brightest bulb, but hey, you know, she's doing work. Yeah. She's doing work. And it's interesting because she mentions, she mentioned in one video, and the reason why I'm talking about her is because right when I, she used to talk about um, alien beings, um, invading people's bodies, or whatever, possessing people, or what have you, so when I first started making my videos, I thought, well, well, this is the perfect place for me to post my videos, and that's where the links started disappearing, disappearing, and I, you know, I tried a few times, I'm not the most persistent person, I, I, I easily accept certain things, but, um, what's interesting about her is she talks about living in California, now, she's not the type of person that would ever live in California, and I don't know, I think she said Monterey, which means... Someone she knows is an intelligence, and her videos, it's so strange that you could look at all these cameras all around the world and keep coming up with these interesting things. Um, anyway, she's CIA, so if you want to look at like what the CIA is into or kind of narratives that they want to build, watch her channel. Anyways, um, so I didn't join the military. Oh, so during my experience, I was having, you know... I would see, I would see like a metal spheres, I would see the Tic Tacs, um, I would see like regular drones that fly around, um, you know, the drones following me. Um, it's interesting timing that when the beings were with, or with me, the drones were happening at the same time. And I loved pointing these drones out to people, because it's very interesting to watch their response. It's like they would see them. I a couple people moved out, because I was pointing them out to people that lived in my building. Uh, I think it freaked them out. Now, these drones could do all kinds of things. And they were uh, abundant. You know? And I really, and I, I, they really didn't bother me. I don't know if it's an intimidation tactic, I guess, because I'm not a paranoid person. Um, I've, tr I've pushed my limit so many times, especially through drug use, and especially when I was younger, that um, normal states just don't quite get you there. You know what I mean? And I would rather have fun with weird things. Or even gang stalking. I have fun with. By the way, if you're being gang stalked, fuck those motherfuckers, man. Approach them. Go at them. They're not going to touch you. They, can't, they don't do anything. There's something really wrong with these people. And, it makes, and, and, and once you realize, well, military is using spiritual things for, for their use. Well, it makes you realize, well, whoever can use 
people who are empty or whatever deficiency they seem to have where they're able to, I don't know, stalk people or do things that they're not aware of or whatever. These people can are also a good understanding of the other um, side of things where people talk about clones or, you know, because they do seem like inhuman. I met a gang stalker and he got some karma from being around me. He was living with a friend of mine and uh, he was from Korea and he was a strange guy. Uh, I immediately didn't like him. I knew that something was off with him. And easily if I was like, and I also lived in my apartment building with people, that it would be easy for me to say, oh, these are the clones. These aren't human beings, you know? And he was kind of like that, kind of strange, talking as if he had some program of points because they're familiar, but he wasn't normal. So like, why would you think these kind of political points of view when you're not even normal, you know? Anyways, he got caught stalking somebody in California. And I know because a friend of mine, my friend, his roommate friend, I ended up looking him up. But anyways, he came to me and said that I was invading his space. And I wasn't even around or talking to this guy. I mean, I was around the house. It's very interesting, that response. So what did I do? I told him to get fucked, basically. And he never talked to me again. And he, and he went away for a while. But one of the things he did before that was he was working in Northern California and he had made a video of these lights in the sky. And, you know, they look like UFOs, but we know Northern California has a base on it. Probably an Air Force base. We'll get to that later. Um, why is the military trying to make things that look like UFOs? Like, why is that even interesting? Why? Because they're getting their technology from things that know UFOs or use them. So when they were following me around and fucking with my energy, that's what they did. They have some kind of ability to really throw you off and maybe do projections because maybe some of the things I was seeing were projected from these because they were above my apartment the whole time, you know, all the time. Uh, they affected other people. Um, they used some kind of electromagnetic to like really, if you're psychic, you know that, um, when something's around you have certain sensations like your hair might stand up or your third eye might you know you might feel that and these things were doing that same thing but on a very like aggressive kind of level like crazy making level um that's how i knew like oh this isn't legitimate because i've had spirits around me and i have um whatever the clairs are and this wasn't it. And they would make me a little crazy. You know, it wasn't like interesting and fascinating. They were just crazy making machines. So many things to say. So much time. But I don't want to spend it saying it. So. <laughs> uh, so, um, these UF, fake UFOs that the military uses, and they use them as drones, they use them to spy, whatever. We, we know, people know what they're doing if you pay attention. And it's just like a rogue element of the government, or CIA. And some of those people watch this channel, so I'm really excited to say this. I know who you are. I saw you. I've been in the room with you. And there's an Air Force general either giving out or being paid because to a normal person because I've seen both of them on more than one occasion um, this technology for people to use against regular people should I mention the Air Force General maybe not today because you know it's either framed that I'm crazy or I know what I'm saying and for people that know that I know you can talk to me and I'll be glad to point this fuckhead out and he should, you know, go home to Virginia and sit in his living room for a while and really listen. Listen, see what he hears. Because I'm not worried about here. And what you should be worried about is after here, as in now, as in your life. Right? You get a cement block tied to your ankle, the ankle of your spirit. 
as if you're drowning in the Hudson, except that you'll be pulled down to the lower astral and you'll stay there for a while for fucking around with people. You evil motherfuckers. It's time for this to stop. And I know there's good people. And if you want to do something about it, well, I'm your man. Or, I can just be crazy, but this information will be out e either way. Another thing about clones. Around when people were saying that they were seeing me in places. Um, I had a friend who I had stopped talking to because he was problematic. As most of my friends have been. And I kept seeing him around. Maybe two or three times. So I'm around my apartment... And I saw him in a trail in the woods because I spent a lot of time in nature. Not in the woods. Just, it was in a park. And I walked by him a couple of times and he just acted like he didn't know me. One time he was wearing a mask. And so I stopped him. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And the guy just gave me this look. I was like, I said his name. And the person pulled down their mask and he looked slightly different. And he's like, I don't, you know, he responded as if someone would that didn't know me. I was like, what? This person is too similar. Now, this guy was like, you know, re really tall, blonde guy, not a lot of facial hair. And here was someone that looked just like him, kind of slob slovenly. Then I saw the guy again um, by my place and I called him out. I just called his name. And the dude kind of looked my way. And I was like, oh, sorry, you look like someone I know. Just the fact that I saw that person, if it wasn't him, twice is unusual. Now, I see people a lot because people follow me and stuff. And it's fine. I, 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 don't, I don't bother. It's just as long as you don't mess with me because I'll fuck you up. You know, I don't really care. I've chased off more weak gang stalking people. Like... If someone comes at you, or you want to do something, like whenever you make a decision to do something to someone, go with it. Don't be weak. And then run away. So, yeah. That's enough for today.